Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to share file between computers or between your computer and your mobile phone. And this is just about how you can share within your home network. And if you want to share your files over the internet so you can access your files from your PC anywhere, you can check out a video I made just a few days ago, right up there. This video is pretty much an extension of that. In that video, I didn't go deep into how to share files. I just meant how to connect over the internet. So without further ado, let me show you how to get your files shared on your PC. All right guys, to get started sharing files on your Windows 11 PC, first up, we'll need to do a few things. So we'll go to system and then we look at our PC name and you want to change it to whatever you want. There's a button up here that says rename this PC. Click on it and set it to something memorable. By default, it should be something like desktop dash blah blah blah. Change it to something. I've changed it to TCRSL2. When you press next, it will ask you to restart your PC. So do that. And then once you're back, we can continue. So once you're back restarting your system. All right, guys, next step, you need to press Windows plus R on your keyboard and then type in control panel on your run menu. Just type in control panel, press enter and click on network and internet. Then you need to go to Network and Sharing Center and then go to Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Here you can turn on Public Folder Settings if you want just a random public folder to be available. You can disable and enable Password Protected Sharing. Remember the password you enter to log into your system? And that's not the four digit PIN, the actual password to your Hotmail or Outlook account. That's the one that will be used if you share using Password Protection. If you want to turn off password protection, just click on here to turn off. You can turn on network discovery on both private and then make sure that turn on file and printer sharing is on. Guest, turn on network discovery, file and printer sharing to cover all your bases. And then you can turn on and off password protection. I'm going to leave it on and I'm going to demo it on my phone how to access password protected files. Also, you can turn on public folder access which will not need anyone's password so anyone can copy and paste to it. It's a bit risky so I recommend leaving it off and then click on save changes. Now you can close it. Now there's only a few steps left. You just need to find the folder you want to share. So let's say I want to share the archive folder. Right now if I open my own shared files, to check that you just go double backslash and then enter your PC name that we set earlier. I set it to TCRSL2. And you can see currently shared folders are audio and YouTube. That's just on this computer. This is the same computer I set it up on, but I want to add this archive folder. So I'll just right click it. I'll go to show more options, click on give access to and click on specific people. And then you can add everyone here okay and then you can select whether do you want them to be able to change your data or do you just want them to read what's in there so i'm going to make it read and write click on share and you can see the archive is shared at this address you can double click it to see the folder that we shared right here but we're on the same computer now i'm going to switch to my phone and show you click done now, just in case you're not able to access the folder that you shared on your phone, even though your password and ID are correct, you'd go here, right click, properties, go to security tab, and make sure everyone is selected. If it's not, go to edit, and click on add, click on advanced, and then click on find now, look for everyone down here, and then press OK. Once it's there, it's already here, and then check full control, like this will look like this. So just click on full control for everyone. Hit apply. OK. And OK again. And then your files will be accessible. Now to check that, I'm going to jump on my phone. All right, so I'm on my phone. I'm going to leave the desktop screen right there. I'm going to open the archive folder so you guys can see what's in there. Now on my phone, I'll download an app called Solid File Explorer. The link will be in the description below. You could be on another computer. If you're on another computer, I'll show you how to do it. But if you're on phone, you can open it and you can select this option here, storage manager. And you can see Vengeance is showing up. That's my old system, I'm going to delete that. And now I'm going to create a new one by pressing the plus icon. 
then I'm going to press LAN SMB. Next, then you can see my server is showing up automatically, TCRSL2. Remember why we named it so you can recognize it easily. So just click on that, press next, username and password, press next. Now username would not be your full name. To find your username, you go to your C drive, you go to users, you can see my name is Yash here. So I'm going to type that. It's not case sensitive, so you can go lowercase, uppercase, doesn't really matter. And then you can enter the password. Go next again, and next, and then connect. You can see it's all green, press finish. And you can see we have Yash at TCRSL2. Click on that, and the folder's open. Now if I will open archive, you can see the same folder structure that we had earlier. IDA64, Nokia 32 megabytes, and a recovered folder as well as the button map. And you can copy and paste. I can show you live. If I go to my phone, internal memory, I go to my download folder. Let's say I wanted to copy this Kodi APK. I'm going to click on copy, then swipe left, click on this, go to TCRSL2, archive, and click this paste button down here. And you can see it's copying. You can see the progress bar and the file has already appeared on PC, but it's still not done copying. And there you go, 74 megabytes copied and good to go. So that's how you can transfer and share files between your phone and PC. But what if you were on another PC? So how do you access it? So let's say this is a different PC. I'm just going to zoom and then make sure it's connected to the same network, Wi-Fi network or Ethernet, depending on your situation. So all you need to do is just right click your start button, click on run, and then double backslash, and then enter the computer's name that we just set up. So for me, it's TCRSL2. It could be any computer on the same network, press enter, and you will see all the archive folder. And because we have edit permissions, I can just delete the file that we copied from my phone, like that, and done. It will be gone. That's pretty much it. That's how you share files using Windows 11. And there you have it, folks. That's how you get your files shared over your local home network so you can access it on almost any device as long as you have the username and password. I also showed you how to share it without any authentication, but it is not secure and could be damaging if someone gets access to your home network. So I highly recommend leaving the password protection on. Anyway guys, smash that like button if this video helped you. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. Check out my other videos right up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!